Hey, welcome back to me playing Tears of the Kingdom. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying this so far. Alright. The Korok hunt continues. Uh huh. Alright, let me look at this. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Okay, I mean, there's a forest, potentially there. I should mark some stuff. Maybe there. I wasn't thorough enough here. I'll go up the back first. I thought I was taking a break because I was on yesterday. Nah, I just had a bunch of stuff to do today, so I'm on a bit later. It's not like that matters too much. Me being on later is probably a better thing for some. Yeah, I was busy, just had stuff waiting for me. Kind of expected it, just because, yeah. <laughs> Having a couple days off, I bet there was stuff just sitting there. Let's see how many I can find. I think at least an hour and a half into this. Not sure how long I'll play Zelda for. Oh crap, I forgot. Search here first. Am I going to look for all of the Koroks? At this point I may as well. This is the thing, I want I want to know how the bubble frog thing ends up. So it's like I'm searching for that anyway. Okay, there was nothing here. How many have I found out of the bubble frogs? I have no way of telling. Um, Because I don't know how many he's eaten. That's the thing. This is how many he hasn't eaten. To my knowledge, there isn't a spot where you can see how many you have found. I already have uh, tea with me because my voice was feeling a little scratchy. Been doing a lot of talking today, so... 
I'm gonna try not to be too loud. It's just ginger and lemon. Nothing fancy. Wow, there's one. You got coffee. <laughs> the morning's just starting for you. Honestly, I could have gone the coffee, but it would keep me up. Over here. I thought that was one for a sec, but the mask had not gone off. flavored cream as the or just sugar and milk yeah here's the thing um creamer isn't a thing in australia i thought creamer meant just milk but it's not it's literally cream which that took me a while to learn but uh that's what it meant so that's not really something that's used here um to get flavor they kind of use these syrups But even then, like, most people are pretty coffee purist. It's kind of like... Particularly in Melbourne and Sydney. Um, yeah, we, we're, like, pretty coffee purist. When people go to order coffee, it's they don't list 50 different things they want done to their coffee. Like, it's a very uh, European coffee culture here. That's why Starbucks kind of failed, because everyone just... It was basically sugared... Sugar coffee syrup with flavoring. That's that's what Starbucks coffee is to everyone. So, I mean... It's either black coffee and then you kind of put a spot of milk in it or you have coffee where it's like a shot of ristretto which is just ground up coffee beans finely ground up coffee beans and then that kind of gets uh, put into milk on its own those are the two typical ways to have coffee That's the thing, even Cremo is like considered fancy. Do they sell Cremo at American stores? I have no idea. That's something that I've, I've never really looked into because it's just, it's not really a way anyone has coffee here. I'm sure there's some equivalent that you don't have to go to a store to buy and you just put it in your coffee. But no one really does it that way. Didn't I hear the mask just go off? Am I imagining it? I may have ima imagined that. Okay, I I'm hearing shit. I should give it a try. Ah, I'm good. <laughs> That's one of those things where I like how my coffee is. 
and I will default to like the uh the Melbourne and Sydney answer. It's like, nah, I'll, I'll stick to the Australian way. Maybe if I'm in America, sure, but I just feel like I'd be having it the worst way. <laughs> and I don't mean anything by it, it's just... If I'm going to do that, it probably should be if I'm in America, because then it's guaranteed that I'm having it the intended way. There's so many different flavors. But see, that doesn't really intrigue me. Like, to me, coffee is... Like, you're just kind of uh, trying to bypass the real flavor of coffee by doing that. And then at that point, what's the point? You may as well just have another beverage that's just flavored. That has caffeine in it. That That's how I see it. Maybe at along that cave ridge. Yeah, over there. It's not like I can't get flavored coffee anyway. Like they have um. I guess it's the same syrups they use in milkshakes, but they put it in coffee instead. I don't think coffee is too bitter on its own. But I guess it depends what kind of coffee you're having, because again, like, we're very particular about coffee here, so it's like... The stuff we'd be getting would probably be a bit different. I don't find coffee that bitter. Maybe because I'm accustomed to it. Maybe it's just, I guess, Central American heritage, because at the end of the day, you know, uh, coffee culture not only is a thing here in, in Melbourne, but it's also like um, a heritage thing, because, you know, my parents come from a country where uh, coffee is the main export. And a lot of places here get the coffee from there, so... I remember my, so, you know, my uncles, I have a few uncles that, um, live in America, and my dad hadn't seen them in, how old was I at the time? Would have been like 28. It had been 28 years. And the very, one of the very first things I said to him, because, you know, it was early morning, uh, I have to kind of translate it because, you know, there's a bit of Spanish involved, but it was just... More along the lines of fucking hell, like, just criticizing his coffee that he was having milk in it. And wasn't having it the pure way. <laughs> like, ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. What They weren't implying he was- they weren't implying he was weak, it was more just a case of... You know, look at you, you've changed. Just... Not, not having the pure coffee experience was what they were trying to convey. I mean, I was kind of right. The forest, I thought, was going to have one. And it did, just sort of indirectly. You tried black coffee. It was gross. You need sugar in it. Um, but did you get store-bought coffee? Or did you, like, go to a place where... You know, they have beans and they come from some South American country and um, they grind them then and there. And then you take a bag home with you. When you make it at home, it's store bought. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess that's the thing. It's like, I, I, I can't do store bought. It's kind of the same with tea, right? It's, it's like the difference between, you know, getting something like Lipton or one of the big brands. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, you can get by on it, but it's just not the same as 
you know, getting something like what I'm drinking now, which is, yeah, it, it's fancier. I, I won't deny that. And it's the same with the coffee. That, I, uh, you know, I will acknowledge that coffee snob is is the word. That that's that's what I've been saying. We are a bit like that here, but for good reason. It's like if you're gonna drink something, have the good experience. Which, by the way. I don't know where Americans got, um, the whole, I guess it was, I guess it was Hollywood, but, like, the idea that Australians drink Fosters, or whatever the fuck that beer is, no one does. And it's the reason, the reason is because it just, it tastes horrible. And if we're going to drink, be drinking a beer, it has to be something that tastes good, and it's the same with coffee. That's like, we're not drinking that store-bought shit. <laughs> I mean, if there's nothing else around, and, you know... Um, you're on the go, or you, you don't really have time to go get something decent yourself. That's where the store-bought coffee is used primarily for most people. But here, in in the city particular, there's just... It's, it's a social thing as well. You go... You go out, you grab a coffee with someone, you socialize. I mean, I, yeah, I literally did that, um... This weekend, caught up with my brother, had breakfast, got coffee. You sit down and, yeah, you kind of just catch up on stuff. So, it's also a, a social thing. You don't like beer? That's fair enough. Beer is one of those things that I feel like it's either you will just drink it for the sake of it. Or it's just, uh, like, something you'll never like. And I say that in the general sense. I think when it comes to beer, you just have to find one that you like. And just avoid the stuff that's, like, mass-produced, in my opinion. Cause that's that's kind of just the uh, damn it! I wanted to climb. You wish you did. It's so much cheaper. Well, it depends what you're going with. Cause the the thing is, if you want a really good beer, it's not necessarily cheaper. That, that, I guess that's what I'm trying to get at with, like, mass-produced stuff, is, like, in general, they'll be fine. Most people will enjoy it, but for those that don't, they'll probably find better enjoyment in something, um, you know. It's a bit more fancy. Huh? That? Cora? No, yeah, it is. The yeah. arrow. If you go to a bar, it's cheaper than order a drink. Oh, no, that's that's 100%. Yeah. That is true. Yep. Thought you were just talking about, like, just outside of that. But yes. Many a time in my Kmart days, or it was just like, all right, tonight <laughs> we don't have much money, so it's just that's what we're gonna survive on. This is this is annoying. I want to climb, but I need the Korok mask. But it's raining, so I have to swap to the gear that completely removes the Korok mask. I can't assume it's a tree. It's like at the top of one of these. Watch it stop raining in the next 15 seconds. What's the other arrow? 
I don't think it's this one either. Either way, I need I need to climb to figure this out. I did not explore this area, so... Go around the edge and then sort of go in the middle. I'm seeing shit. Maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> Thought I saw something down there and then quickly eyes corrected. No, dummy, that's nothing. That's just a texture on the ground. It was a shadow thing. It just looked like something more than what it was. Uh, dinner was boring, just leftover rice, some chicken, that's it. Something quick, <laughs> just throw in the microwave. Sat down for a uh, little quicker evening entertainment and then just saw, oh no, it's another one of these, these trends that are going around. People are drinking some sort of commemorative milkshake and are just taking pictures of themselves doing weird shit. It's almost like when planking was, you know, the big trend. It's, it's this again, except it's just, admittedly, some of them are funny. It just looks like a massacre happened and people just like this purple goop. It's some sort of milkshake that's celebrating Grimace's birthday. It's a McDonald's thing. And they just take videos or photos of themselves making it look like like a horror movie had just happened. Honestly, just have one look around and you, you'll be able to find what I'm talking about. It's it's everywhere at the moment. It's only an American thing, because, uh, yeah, we don't, I don't believe we have it in Australia. It's a menu item, so. Uh... 
There's a sometimes there's a Korok in the base. Okay. Still looking at those hills. Oh yeah, what I should be doing. I don't have... I need to make a buff. Next cooking pot I come across and I'm gonna do it. Which, I think there's one here. Here, McDonald's was doing it for Grimace's birthday, so I've been to McDonald's to try it. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was, and then just I guess it became a viral thing. Someone posted something silly and probably was funny, and now it's just everywhere. Whoops. It's a blood moon. Um, so my cooking's gonna be more effective. This is probably the first time I've been here at the time. Um, okay. Where is it? I know I, know I have one. There. Wait, what? Hold on, what did I just do? Don't tell me scales don't work. Oh, it was just the scale shit. I fucked up. It's okay, it'll auto save, thankfully. I think when I swapped menus, it un undid my, uh, the thing where I had all the fleet seeds held. Oh, the blood moon's gone. What? Oh, no, there it is. It's fine. Okay. Definitely use this time to make what I can. That's something that doesn't have much health. Okay, I'm gonna apply the buff anyway. Definitely the perfect time to, uh, to cook. Come on, that'll do. 
Uh, what am I going to play after? I'm not sure. We'll see how we go. I've had a pretty long day. So if it's leaning more on the side of quiet tonight, I might just like do some Korok hunting and then leave it. But we'll see. Hopefully this tea is like a bit of a pick-me-up. Do I need to... Hmm. I think this area is pretty well covered, to be honest. It's like... Maybe up there. Yeah, maybe up there. Okay. I'm heading towards... Like... Yeah. Probably here. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's just like this large area that probably gonna have something. The week is almost over. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But, yeah. Forget. We got another day off next week. Oh, like another public holiday or just taking some time off. <laughs> public holiday, gotcha. Yeah, I think I've walked down here pretty well. Fourth of July, right, right, eagle screech. Or whatever sound effect is relevant. Shit, it's already July. <laughs> Maybe this is why I did not explore this, because it seems to be an enemy camp. I'm going to run through it. The fireworks, I bet. Well, enjoy the time off. Wow. Oh. I'm very surprised I didn't get that one. Does this still work? I'm curious. I remember Breath of the Wild said, like, if you drop food in the water, it kind of lures that kind of fish to it, but I just never bothered trying. Thinks is it's on Tuesday and then work on a Wednesday. Ah, uh, yeah, middle of the week public holiday. I tried. 
Okay, I know where I am now. I was like... Confused for a sec. So, it would appear that there's always one in one of these fortresses. This doesn't follow the rules it did in Breath of the Wild, where you could not get... Um... The Koroks just wouldn't be in these bases, ever. We can just watch as the sun falls now. <laughs> this is probably worth going to be honest, I need arrows and these are a good source of arrows. That's a very good um, armor breaker, that arrow. You had a blood moon happen when you cleared out one of these. Yeah, that's honestly pretty common. It would happen more than you would think. Okay, I don't need this. Yeah, this is why these are good to do. Yeah. 
Same as always. My blood moon just happened, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that they're always the same. Good, right? I think that's fine. Ooh, hold on. Where is the robot? Come here. There you go. You got a spiky fist hand. Probably the best use I could have gotten out of it. Wait a minute. There's a beehive on a stick summon bees. You know what? That does make sense. I'm not sure why I'm surprised. Did I eat something that caused my half hour buff to disappear? Wait, why are these half hour? This should be half hour because it's got a dragon part. Oh. 
<laughs> All right, well that was a waste. I'm not sure what the fuck happened there. Fairly certain it doesn't matter what part, like, it should just be any. Alright, so this one's Breath of the Wild knowledge. Another Breath of the Wild one, let's see if it's here. It is. Tino is very close, so I can go try and fix this situation. Oh, shit. Sorry, they didn't see me. Okay, now they did, but it's no matter. Not an issue. <laughs> I need bombs, maybe. resolve itself. I think I'm always sitting on just under 10. Did I see the way to make unlimited bombs? Ah, uh, nah, because I, I, I haven't been watching any content for this at all. I've, I've been trying to keep this as blind and spoiler-free as possible. So I, I stay away from shorts, videos, TikTok, just everything. I just want this to be as blind of an experience as possible. Right, where'd it go? I see a diving one, probably nothing there. I mean, there's a lot of duplication glitches, like... There was some in Zelda in Breath of the Wild as well, so... I'm not surprised. But I never resorted to them, I don't know. That kind of stuff is just, you, I guess, removing the challenge completely out of it. Yeah. 
it's not a glitch. So is it unlimited or is it unlimited? In quotes. Because unlimited to me feels like they've done something to get like an obscene amount, like a hundred or like a, almost a thousand bombs. And at that point, it's like they're doing something that's not intended. That's just the chest, I think. Go to the mob when wearing a backpack and he can take bombs from his back. Alright. Yeah, I mean, that's the sort of stuff I'm not looking at because I don't want to get spoilt on it and I want to discover it myself. And if I don't, well, I'll find out later. Wait, this doesn't have one. Yeah, huh. Maybe, maybe not. I thought maybe all- oh, no, wait. <laughs> okay, I've climbed back up. Okay, I'm an idiot. Disregard. I thought this was something new. I thought I was headed towards Hatino. I am not. That's Hatino over there. I went back the way I came. Probably has stuff on it. All right, that first. Did I find all the wells? I doubt it. I haven't been looking for them. And yeah, I just there's parts of the map that I just haven't really. Like here, for example, look at this. Look look at that. There's just a massive, massive area that I just haven't looked at. Same here, here. This whole area, just nothing. I don't think I have it. Probably wouldn't be close. I haven't done what I did in Breath of the Wild, which was make sure I go through each section completely before moving on. I think I would have gotten tired of this. It's just the fatigue of doing that in Breath of the Wild and then doing it again. Master Mode DLC comes out. Am I going to play again? Uh, not anytime soon. I'd probably just visit whatever they've added as new content. Just in this, and that would be it. I just don't think... I imagine in total this is going to be like closer to 200 hours. Um, I don't think I feel like doing two, another 200 hours of this. When you combine it with Breath of the Wild, that's like... That's a lot of hours in one world. 
As different as it is. I thought that was a Korok that looked like one. As different as it is, it's still the same environment, really. I think I've beaten this high enough. I should beat it because I need Hinox guts anyway. What? How did you not get knocked down? I just shot you repeatedly in the eye. Jeez. How did that happen? Put him like four or five times in the eye. Once this is done, it's like time for a break from Zelda games for a while. I kind of had a feeling that I'd, I'd feel that way about it um, before I even started playing this game. I just figured, okay, this is going to be set in the same world. I know that at a certain point, I'm just going to be like, mm. even if the DLC did come out fairly soon, I probably won't check it out right away. Spending this is a ridiculous amount of time in the in the one world, more or less. Okay. Cause now I'm kind of at the point where it's just the shrines are done. I'm not the only real thing that's going to be different is uh, the the president signs. Everything else is kind of like, well, this is how Breath of the Wild ended. I was just looking for Koroks. And I, you know, I'm not kidding myself. I'm, I'm almost positive the reward's going to be the same. There was a Korok out there, really? Ah, shit. Okay, I might have to go get a... I'll make a, a plane to get out there. I thought about what they would even do for a DLC, and I think I know the answer. I think if they're going to do a DLC, the only area that... I mean, I'm sure they could surprise me, but I get the feeling the DLC is going to be underground related because that's just like a massive thing down there that just has all the room in the world to put a bunch of different shit down there. It's, it's kind of largely empty and it wouldn't surprise me if the reason it's largely empty because they, they were planning a DLC for, for it in the first place.
fly out there. see the dragon in the background. I was going to teleport, but then I remembered, wait, I just got a scale from it, so probably not ready yet. Why isn't that showing Korok? Uh, I guess at this point I should fly out. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, I'm definitely flying out now. Especially since it's free. weird if they just didn't release DLC for this like maybe because everyone's assuming it's gonna happen but it might not even it might not even happen okay Koroks have been acquired there not the island I thought it was going to be on. Oh. Okay. Did I skip? I think I skipped Laurelin. Yes. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh... uh should I bother? <sighs> if there's going to be one, it's going to be on the single rock. I guess if I'm already out here. Alright, so what was this island that I saw? Over there. Okay. If it's that, there's nothing on it. There's nothing on it. This is just um, something that fell out of the sky.
I'll go around the perimeter of the island. Oh, I guess I need to land it first. Get battery back. That was it, right? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, okay, I'm convinced. Oh, shit. I think I see it. I was going to sink. Uh, where is bike? Okay, uh, going to Luralyn now. There's like cliff seal. There's probably one on the cliffs. Wait, is that a cave? Or is that a shadow? Cave? Shadow? Can't tell. I think that's a cave. Yeah, it's a cave. I think I might check up high first. Oh shit. Oh, get pulled. Land. Yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> when I'm trying to pick stuff up and then I interact. Because a sage has walked in front of me and there's only one button on the controller. 
and they had no other choice but to put it on the same button. Shit, I may have lost control of this. No, it's fine. Yep, cool. Where? Yep. I think it's above me. Let's stop going off now. That's a nice like shit. I got tricked. Alright. <laughs> ah. Uh. Yeah, this is the one downside of this thing is like when you do lose control. It's gone. I kind of needed it to get in the cave. Unless there's a secondary entrance. Oh, Korok. So I can get back up quickly. There's only one. Uh, I don't want to really spend if I don't have to. I see a Korok. No? Okay. <laughs> Shadow trick. I thought there was a rock there. Is 
This is the definition of insanity, right? <laughs> it starts seeing shit. It does look very suspicious, that shelf. There was a rock there. I didn't imagine it. There was one there in the shadows, but no Korok. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. that as a midpoint. Do this. Now I have to, uh, go off the edge here. Ah, I mean... Hold on. How far down is the right, this right-hand side? Okay, cool. I should probably cover this right-hand side first. Okay, this is clearly a secret. Uh, uh oh.
Do I have a quest, maybe? Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, not really. Find one of those treasure hunters. This doesn't even let me go back. Let's just make sure it's not like wear a set of gear. Because it could very well be something simple. It's tied to these ruins here. It has to be. Palmore ruins. Is it going to be something stupid like show a palm fruit? Hold on. It's going by the name. out of ideas. Uh, at this point, I think I should probably just teleport. Let me go to the ruins themselves. Going to be something like that. Good. It could just be con it could just be connected to that cave there. No, but then again, if it was, it would have had its thing checked. No, it's it's a unique cave. There has to be another way in there.
Without a boat, I guess I'm just stuck. What? Oh, you're Link. Well, here you are, our hero. I just returned to my village when I heard the pirates disappeared. Who did think I'd bump into you here? Well, unfortunately, I don't really have time to chat. The thing is, my boat's gone, and without it, I... And with it, how I get my trading done? I don't know where it's gotten to. All the boats in the village are gone too. I can't find a replacement for it. I'm sure it's because of the mayhem the monsters cause. They all got washed out to sea. Things that float away from our village often wash up on Tanako, an island off the eastern coast. Maybe it's there. Of course, Tanako Island is way out to sea. I don't have a boat. I'll get a boat. Seems like I'm stuck then. I'll never be able to reopen my shop. I sell things you can only find here. My customers are eager to see me get my boat, get my shop up and running again. My boat. Is this just... I just need a sail, right? I mean, I don't want to get distracted by this. The side quests are all well and good, but I was hoping maybe dude would reveal the cave side quest or something. Okay, while I'm here, I want to test something. If I'm imagining shit or I really did get ripped off. Okay, no, I'm not imagining shit. So I guess it's just the horn that does it. Scale's not good enough. They must have changed that. So I need to get a horn. Otherwise, it's just, yeah, standard. Oh. Oh. I mean, the problem is I just- oh, hello, what's this? I heard about you. You're him, right? You're the person who helped Bolson rebuild the village? Thank you very much. My father, Rosal, speaks very high of you. You know, I was living with my husband in Hatina village until not too long ago. When we heard those monsters occupying the village were driven out, we decided to come and look around for ourselves. Mm. Overall, I'd say it's looking mostly as it did before. I was born and raised here, so I really appreciate all you've done for this village. Aww. Now, I'd like to do my part to help get things going again in Luralin Village. The problem is I'm so hungry I can't think of any ideas. Only food, like one meal that I ate long ago. Halian rice cooked with goron spice and porgy. Mmm. Think about it makes me hungrier. With a few forkfuls of that in my stomach, I have the brain power. Okay. Well, that I can do. Porgy. <laughs> of course I can't. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Tough seafood curry. It's seafood curry. Ah, oh, the smell. This is the dish I've been dreaming of. You made it for me. Thank you so much. And now I eat. Mm. That spicy flavor balanced by a strong note of umami. It's so delicious. So satisfying. At last, I can start thinking of ways to draw in visitors. Let's see. Wait, oh no. Hot, hot, hot. The growing spice is burning me up. I can't focus when my whole body's on fire. What do I do? I need a gust of wind to cool me down. Um... Really? <laughs> ah, much better. Now I'm nice and cool. Wait a sec. I got an idea. A flag. We can make a flag as a symbol for the village. That'll help draw in visitors and liven up the community. Time to start working on the design. Please tell me I can design the flag. Oh, never mind. A satisfactory job, if I do say so myself. Thanks. Really, I couldn't have dreamed up of such a great idea without your help. Now I'll go liven up Laurelin Village with a new flag. Here, the fabric I use for the flag. Maybe you'll find some other use for it. Okay. I think there's anything else I missed. I think I'm just overthinking it. <laughs> it's just... I could get caught up trying to do every single little part of the map, but I think just go. That's the camp. Okay, let's see if there's anything at the ruins door. I mean, the way this one was solved was with kneeling. Shit, that's the one thing I didn't... That's the one thing I didn't try over there.
I bet it's kneeling. I think this is just to get inside the cave by the looks of it. Okay, I'll take that, it's a free fan. Has to be something simple. Chillin. No. <laughs> what, if, what if this is like the Castlevania thing? Wait, kneeling worked? All right, kneeling worked. I was gonna throw something at it. Get out of here. Oh. Shit, it's all style creatures. Nice shot, Jordan. Probably one more in the crow's nest or something. Lionel bow. Take it.
Oh, it's Tingle. I think that's all Tingle stuff now. Oh shit, this one's still alive. This has been good for arrows. I wonder if this respawns every blood moon. I might drop a, a waypoint here. Because this is a lot of arrows. If this just keeps coming back every time, it's worth it. find out. This might be where I come to get arrows. The enemies are easy to take out and... I mean, if it keeps respawning, why not? So. Okay, uh. Let me look at this. I did kind of get sidetracked a little. I'll go from Hatane there. Okay. Ugh, just leaning back in my chair. I'm at 616. Okay, let's have a look around here, particularly around the coast. I think this was the one area around the coast that I was pretty good with. Seems like it. Yeah, okay, because I remember this beach here. Alright, and then, ah, uh, Linera Mountain. Wait, did I, oh, I think I marked that because that's a president, and I, I didn't do it. Um. Wait, that's one there. I'm pretty certain that's one there. Um, I can just kind of tell by looking at the dots. That's a line of things. Okay, there for sure. If there's one in Breath of the Wild. I'll be shocked if there one isn't one there. Hmm. 
And otherwise, that kind of covers it, I think. Alright. Let's see how right I am. Yep. Of course. Of course. It's just, I know I should be glad this is at the very least in there, but I still, I still think it's a very poor way to, to design weather. It's just, I have to put on this armor and then take it off anytime I want to do something. That is the light scale dragon. I should probably go for that first. I should be able to catch up to it. I want to make, like, another half-hour buff. Good. Timing. Okay, it's Zelda, but still. that many. Alright. Oops, there goes the arrow.
Well, I was right, but not about this. What is this? Oh, it's just this. No, hang on. There we go. I want my arrows back. Surprised I didn't go to that. I already see it. I think. No. Okay. I thought it was one of those dangling ones. There is one here. It's just wondering where is it? to the president now assuming that's what that means Shit, there's like a... Why did I put a person like on here? There's nothing here. What?
Uh, yeah, I don't see anything here. I thought this was... Maybe something I couldn't do right away and I just marked it, but there's nothing here. Alright. I guess it's off to Lanero. Uh it, this has not been explored in the slightest. Okay. I'm hoping I can wear this combination. We'll see. I suppose the other way I can do it is... Uh, as long as I don't get into a fight. That should work. That's better. Hi, right, supervisor caught you off guard and called you. It's fair enough. What comes first? Kind of up to the boring part now. No one ever calls you. Yeah, I, I feel exactly the same way. If I'm getting a phone call, it's like, hmm, is this a scam phone call? This area, but I think half an hour of exploration should do. Already got one. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. We're kind of in that era, is just. You can't really answer the phone anymore. It's, for me, 90% of the time, if not more, it's just 
a robocall or just scam. And if someone wants to call me, they will leave a message if it's really important. Most people just text me, though. Honestly, if I had a choice, I would just have my cell provider just for mobile internet. I would be like, just get rid of my phone number. Just completely disable the phone number features. I don't need them. Like, honestly, I'm basically paying per month to get spammed. That's basically what it comes down to now. I just don't see a reason to have a phone number. person will be calling as a school or doctor to confirm an appointment. Right, that makes sense. But in that sense, you're like expecting the call. It's like outside of that example. I mean, the last time I went to something like that, they, they texted. They confirmed the appointment through a text. There's Nadra again. I need to just do this, because why not? I think eventually it'll get to that point. It's kind of like how the landline is pretty much all but vanished, except for old people. You get the feeling even sell numbers are just gonna go the same way. It's just... It's just a matter of time. It's kind of the same reasoning. Like, landlines, you just used to get um, marketers calling you around dinner time. I think it's the same reason here, it's just that shit is causing it to just rapidly become less relevant. Okay, let me collect the scales and then we'll just drop back down. Shit. Oof. I mean spikes, not scale. Ultimately, I'm going to just use these as arrows. <laughs> they make pretty strong arrows. Alright, we're done here. Is that the president? That's the president. Oh, I know it's a Korok. Oh, no, but I've already done it. Okay. Sorry, it's just the light. I thought it was the president. Okay, where was I? Hey, Gummy, how's it going? Uh, yeah, no, that's correct. It's roughly the spot I was in. Okay. Where am I going? 
Uh. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's see stuff down there. I might even just teleport back to the tower, it's easier at this point. Whoops. about to go chase it for a sec. No, no, I'm, I'm done with that. I should even bother with. Uh, yeah. I'll just... I think I need to explore high ground. I need to do what I did the first time around. This mountain is just tedious to explore. But I'll do what I did the first time in Breath of the Wild. Just did a lap of it, and then later, if there was anything missing. I came back, so... In the spirit of that... Yeah, someone else had it too. Right on the money. No, oh, yeah, I, lo I love where I love the part where all the sages get in the way, and just walk in front of me when I'm trying to press A on the Korok. It's okay. Nintendo did their best. It's hard to design a game when you only have one button on a controller. <laughs> I shouldn't be so sarcastic sometimes. Yeah, they, they just get in the way, and I figured that was going to happen. It was fine when there was only two of them, uh, but I, I saw that that's... Ugh, oh, damn it. Hold on. I figured that was going to be the end result, is just they were going to start getting in the way. They could have made most of them just something that you trigger on a button press. Side on when you shield. It's the, probably the most obvious one. Okay, that is a president. Yeah, Minoru is, it is getting in the way a lot more. She's just gigantic. Temporarily swap to this. Okay. 
How is this rolling on its own? It has a life of its own. I'll wedge it there. Okay, stop. It's on a hill. Ah, yeah, that might explain it. Sorry, this should... No, but see, even then, it's like... It's going in multiple directions. Alright, there we go. Perfect. That should do. How's the president standing? <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. ah. Okay, now I can go back to what I had. They just don't, they just don't like dropping tails. I think the, uh... The requirement for 10 per armor is just nuts, considering the drop rate. Kinda of fine. I'll go down on the level now. There's one. Okay, we get to test my my brilliant invention now. Milo, um, is something that's available in Europe, Gammy. It's not an Australian thing. It's also available in South Africa, I believe, as well. It's pretty universal. However, apparently the Australian recipe is like the original one, and a lot of countries have changed the recipe. It's like Australia, New Zealand, Europe, um, and South Africa, if I'm not mistaken. See, that's just some information that's pretty fucking useless unless I go to, like, a trivia night. It's- it's a powdered drink, it's- the closest there is is malt. It's like, almost malt, but not quite. It's its own thing, but the closest flavor would be malt. 
It's marketed as like a energy drink. All right, I guess I run around. In Australia, they have um, other foods that just use that powder. So like cereal, ice cream, energy bars. Yeah, it doesn't have chocolate in it at all. Like, uh, you would think it does, but it's it's not chocolate. It's it's a malt wheat drink. It's like wheat and it's malt flavored. If I'm not mistaken. That's good stuff. Out, there's anything here. This is just. I guess I'll continue further. Further north. Oh no, this makes it even worse. I swear, it, it's just been raining the whole time I've been playing this. be the color brown. Yeah, I mean, you would think, but it's not. There are plenty of things that are brown and aren't chocolate flavored. diving one. Damn it, too low. Didn't let me dive in. Now it has to be with the dive animation, otherwise it doesn't count. Yeah, I mean, here, when it comes to instant breakfast, companies are very careful with labeling it that way. Because I think, like, the government cracks down on that stuff. Because a lot of that stuff tends to be high in sugar content, and they don't want it to be, like, a substitute for a real breakfast for kids. I remember though we have this thing called um it's effectively just bits of wheat they're called wheat bix it's just wheat biscuits or wheat tablets i guess is the, probably the better definition because i think biscuits has a different connotation for americans but it's like it's a tablet of wheat and then you put milk on it and then they made this this energy drink that was marketed as a breakfast thing called up and go and then I remember there was like some drama about calling it breakfast because it was encouraging just encouraging people to have that instead of breakfast and it was it had a lot of sugar in it and they made a big deal out of it and now they don't call it like a breakfast they call it like an energy drink
I always thought that, uh, it, that stuff just tasted disgusting. <laughs> I don't know, it was just, it was the mouthfeel, it was the texture, it's just like... I just never enjoyed it. Same with the, the cereal, or the, the tablets, they just kind of just became mush. Unless you added a lot of sugar to it, or like something like honey, it just... Ugh. You're sure there was more sugars than yours? Probably. Yeah. Okay, I guess I should run along the perimeter here. This is another large landmass. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, you remember up and go, you thought it was healthy, drank heaps, heaps of it, and noticed you were gaining weight. That's why they got into trouble, Gammy. That's why there was drama about it. Because they didn't want a bunch of kids to end up with uh, potential diabetes, thinking that they were drinking something healthy, because that's the way it was marketed. Was the sugar? Just consider that, like, if you had wheat bix on on its own, did you f did you find wheat bix with just milk tasty? If you did, then yeah, cool, try up and go. But if you didn't, there's no like, if you tried up and go and found it great and tasting great, that's not that's not the wheat bix carrying it. That's the sugar. It's like. The only way they made that good tasting is just the loads of sugar it had in it. If you hated Wheat Bix but liked Up and Go... Yeah. <laughs> Similar to energy drinks, they're marketed as healthy. Mm, I never- I never saw them marketed as healthy. I always saw them as like a just energy. Sports drink is different because you had athletes advertising it, but stuff like Red Bull, that was to me that that just felt like a Coca-Cola thing and I just never associated it with health. I just thought about it as like, okay, this is like an extra high caffeine thing with sugar. Like I don't I don't associate energy and health. Sports? Sure. But, you know, there's other ways to get electrolytes. But it's the lesser of the two evils. Like, you can... You can eat a bar of chocolate, and that's technically an energy food. Everything's an energy food. It just depends on what level are we talking about here. Do we do Halloween over there? Uh, not really. People have started doing it, but it's it's nowhere like the level that it is in America, where it's a massive thing. Oh, why I never found this before? It varies from suburb to suburb. Like, where I live now, no one does it. 
And I remember growing up, it was just seen as this thing that it's like, well, no, that just Americans do that. Why would we want to do something Americans are doing? But, you know, the late teens, early 20s, people threw Halloween parties just to use an excuse to get drunk. That's about it. But it all, like, you know, wasn't strictly themed Halloween. It was just like, uh, some people would dress up, most people wouldn't. It was just, yeah. I, nowhere near the level of, uh, what you would expect traditionally from a Halloween thing. But I think it's, it's more of a thing nowadays than it was when I was growing up. I don't know. There's always been like this low key just not wanting to do things like Americans do. I don't know why. But it's always been a thing in Australia. Maybe because, you know, we're a British colony and it probably... It's probably that. Oh. Let's see. Alright, or is frog. For a few years around Halloween, there was a scary clown craze, and people dressed as clown and went trying around, trying to be scary. I mean, maybe in New South Wales. I don't know about Victoria. We're pretty normal down here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Is that people in New South Wales acting like clowns? Sounds about right. Don't worry, chat. That was just a light jab. It's just a ri rivalry between the two states. Always giving each other shit to some degree. You didn't have to dress up at all. It's just the, the dress, the dressing up is redundant. But yeah, I mean, you know, my niece, uh, where my brother lives now, uh, yeah, they do, they did Halloween, um, in that suburb, and, you know, she went out, went trick-or-treating, she had fun. So, still not to the same scale, like, it's not like people do up their houses, but, yeah, she enjoyed it, so, for kids it's fun. Oh, I can get rid of this. If I ever go to a Halloween thing... Like, next time... I already know I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna dress up as Wario. That's just it. It's going to happen. I just don't know why it never occurred to me sooner. I could have done well. Never went out and sprayed shaving cream at your friends or eggs. Nope. Not a thing. Much like, um, the college experience here, or the university experience, we don't have fraternities or any of that shit. Like... I mean, sure, people drink and get drunk, but it's not like this thing where people just pull pranks and just do stupid shit. Very different. Around Halloween, they ID you to buy eggs. Yeah, I mean, here, if anyone did that, they'd probably get arrested. I don't know, I guess... I'm just thinking back to that time. Like, no one really found that shit interesting. Just... You know what it is? It's, it's just like... 
if you do that, there's, there's the Australian thing of like being seen as a wanker. And it's just one of those things that's like, man, if you do that, you're kind of a wanker. And you don't want to be a wanker. That's like one of the last things you want. I'm just gonna run. It's, yeah, it's just one of those things, it's just, it's a difference in culture. Like, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you something funny when it comes to that sort of stuff, just to show, like, how America is just a different breed. Oh, I didn't get the bubble frog in this one. Um... So for work, we were going to um, a trade show, and there were going to be two of them. There was going to be one in Europe and one in America. So, you know, we the, the American one was up first, and we prepared a bunch of t-shirts to hand out at the event for marketing purposes. So, you know, we, we went to the American one, and... The t-shirts were going just nuts, like, people just kept coming up to the booth, grabbing them, like... They ran out really, really, really quickly. Just people going mental for the free t-shirts. In Europe... <laughs> we were like, shit, we don't want to make that same mistake in Europe. So, we bought double for Europe. And, uh... Yeah, in Europe, no, basically no one wanted them. They were, they scoffed at them. They were like, ugh. So, we took the multiple boxes of t-shirts that uh, we prepared for Europe and used them again for America the next year. And they are, once again, just absolutely fucking mental for the free t-shirts. So, it's just... Very, very different. I think I'm done here. Maybe. <laughs> Who doesn't want a free t-shirt? Apparently not Europeans, because it's just seen as cheesy. It's like, oh, you're wearing a company's logo and stuff? as so well. Hail corporate. It's just no one wanted it. Which to that to that sentiment I can kind of agree. If I'm getting if I my clothing chat is like if I'm getting something with a logo, it has to be pretty damn fucking tiny. Like I don't get anything in big print unless it's just letters, like typography that looks good, that looks like a graphic instead of letters. And then, you know, color coordination is just pretty did I hear it go off? Yeah it did, okay. Or is it? Look, I'm pretty minimal with clothing. I thought that... <laughs> no, there's none of those in this one. What is... What is this? Oh, is it just this? No, it's not. What is it? Ah, that's why I missed it. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess if you use it as like a, I don't care if this gets, um, you know, ruined t-shirt. I can understand that. But yeah, I mean, it, it was it was just funny. It's like just a cultural difference, I guess. I 
I did find it funny. The people that weren't, they had to haul boxes of t-shirts around because no one wanted them. But in America, it was just like right away they just vanished as quick as they did the first time. If not quicker. I mean, the fact... I, I thought about it as well, and it's just... I've been to so many events over the years, and I have not once seen a t-shirt cannon. And I've heard that they're, they're pretty... I wouldn't say common, but, you know, definitely more common than what you would find them here. I've just never seen one ever get used here in Australia. Like, who wants a free t-shirt? And then the crowd goes wild. Like, that just doesn't happen. And then some dude just pulls out the cannon. Ooh, it's the president. Every sports event does that. Yep, difference in culture. I mean, with kids, that's that's understandable. Kids, I'm sure they'll they'll go crazy for any free stuff. I know I would have as a kid. Should hopefully be enough. Let's see. No. Flipped. I think all I need to do to support this one at the rear. How the fuck did that attach? <laughs> How did that Alright, you know what? I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, come on! It's still standing. <laughs> I don't understand how that one attached. Alright, well, that's not gonna work anymore. The problem is it's... It's this front, I need to support it more. trying to do, but sure. Just use a floating platform. I mean, I can. It's just... Sometimes it's fun to do it the way that... You know, they, they want you to do it this way. They want you to just use the objects that they place there. If I get if I get lazy, I'll do it that way. But for now, this one this one is a mess. But whatever works. This just made it worse. 
It's a stupid snapping thing. Like, I just... I don't... I didn't want it to be on that angle, but it's just like, oh, you want it to be like that? No. Like that. No, yeah. Snap, snap, keep snapping. Keep snapping. That's totally what I wanted. What a monstrosity. Oh, it's the stupid thing on the face. Get it out of there. I think I might just cave on this one. This one just seems annoying. Much like the Akala one. This one's going to be annoying. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really interested in spending, like, five, ten minutes here. I don't have many floating platforms, so we're doing this instead. Which, honestly, good enough. Definitely overkill. <laughs> oh, this is one logical object. That's fine. Same shit. Alright, there we go. That's not moving. How's the president standing? The only thing that sucks about this is that I have no way of tracking. I don't know which ones I've done or where they are. I saw the, uh, the new paid chat feature that Twitch added, and thankfully it's not for affiliates, so I don't have to worry about it. But, um, there's no way to turn it off. It's just there. So what people are doing is, and it's smart, but at the same time, it's like, someone will probably spend that amount, but they're setting their minimum to, like, the highest you can possibly can, so it's... It's a case of no one's going to pay $100 to have their message pinned to a chat. And that's their way of disabling it. And then they just tell their chat, don't, please don't buy this.
Got a cave that on the pass. Okay, on the pass, but no Korok. Maybe. I'll have a look. I want to do this the side. I'm not going to head into Zora's domain. I think it's pretty much the Kakarika area and then that big gap in the middle and central Hyrule for a bit. I don't know if this is a bad goal, but <laughs> I kind of... I want to be done with this next week. Not this week, I don't think it's going to be realistic. Unless I make some mad progress with the Koroks. Okay, this was a bad idea. In more ways than one. I mean, I'm going to count that as Zora's Domain, that high ground. Finish the side quest, beat Ganon as a side thing. Or oh, on the Koroks. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I think if I beat Ganon, my brain's just going to associate that with, okay, done, and then I don't want to do anything else. The way I play Zelda games is I don't usually go to the end until I'm like, okay, I have nothing else I want to do anymore. I found out there was a thousand seeds, I was worried. I was like, uh, yeah, probably not. But then when I looked into it further and it's a case of there's a thousand seeds, but there's not a thousand Koroks, that made it a bit easier. Um, it's supposed to be on the other side. Where am I at now? I would assume 620 something. Not 6.30. So there's 300 and something to go. That's still a lot. That, is that Porgy? That's Porgy. How many was the max for weapons? I think it was the same as last time. I've already hit the maximum. Doesn't want to upgrade any more slots for me. That's another one. I did it too soon.
Damn it. Didn't die up this time. Maybe I can just dive off the pier. I think I'm overcomplicating it. Oh, fuck off. Arrows there. Have fun with that. Alright, I overcomplicated it. It really depends on the area, because some of them they're pretty dense. I do that a lot, I know. But that's just because of the games I used to play as a kid. It was always just... Sometimes things would be that complicated. And when it's something complicated or something semi-complicated, it's great. Because I can figure it out pretty quickly. I try things and... I guess that leads me to breaking games as well, but it's... It works. But then when it's something simple... It's the worst. It's the worst thing. It really is. Oh, sticky frog! Just staring at me. Uh. I feel like I should make a, a... It might be worth doing this. But making a vehicle to kind of fly in the river. Just to scout it out. Because there was one in Breath of the Wild that was around Zora's Domain. Around here. It was one of the later ones I got, so let's just... In case that's a possibility again. <laughs> Particularly here. Makes it easier to explore this river. Also, see any caves I may have missed? Doesn't look like I did. I'm gonna turn it around here. Shit. Shit. No. Ah, oh, you fucking asshole. I don't know if I can save it. One thing I, I absolutely despise about this game is just how easy it is to slip compared to Breath of the Wild. I just find myself sliding off surfaces way more easier than I used to.
shit. Ow. Nah! Is it gone? I think it's gone this time. No, it's there. I just want to go back in this direction. I don't want to explore this yet. Because that's its own, like, headache. This just never came through for me again. I had three sticky frogs there. I think it was just a coincidence. It's the tree. Or, I guess, next to the tree. Wondering, I have to go to the top here. Whilst I have the vehicle. one here. It's a time saver. Turn around. Ugh, the steering on this, what is going on? Yeah, it might be the wind, but this one there. I just couldn't seem to turn it around properly. Whatever. Works for me. I'll probably be back here, to be honest. This bridge... Alright, there's a Korok there, there's... Every bridge has a Korok. Golden rule. That... There's a Korok there that I haven't gotten. Probably because I floated over it if I was to take a guess. Yep. Bingo. Oh, it's just there.
Luto's tunnel. Bad idea. Sorry, got it. Whatever's gonna happen, bring this with me. This is a little annoying. Oh, God, it's safe. All right, so what is this? See it. What a waste of time this was. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this thing out. Alright. Uh, Zora weapons are pretty OP. <laughs> oh, it's a shortcut to get to the roof. Alright, just let me go back to where I came from. Zara's domain right now. I want to keep exploring around that central piece.
I gotta head to the uh, Lanero ruins next. Yay, more rain. Okay, I should head that way. Uh, let me put a marker. Honestly, <laughs> most likely one there. A diving one. Not quite sure. I guess I have to. Um, the ones in the sky. I'm gonna have to just fly around to each island. I'm not sure there's a better way to do it because it's, it's a lot harder to point out stuff. Unless I did something where maybe there's one per island or something. Oh. See my friend. Where's your friend? I can just walk that up. Yeah, I'm not complicating this one. This one's just. We're going for a walk. I'll piss off, really? Both of those things? one to annoy me. <laughs> We're leaving here. Don't worry, little fellas. I'll leave you alone. What have I done here? Okay. I mean, the Lionel's kind of covering that area. Maybe to the edge there. Okay. I need to fight this one. I love how because of that, all of them running in my way, I couldn't I couldn't see it. Okay, uh let's eat. Yeah, 
Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that visual noise right there. I'm gonna eat these because they're no longer useful. Hey, I didn't want to lock on. I mean, I, I can turn them off, I guess that's the other thing. It really does get that annoying. It's close. I just need to eat some of this low tier food. All the stuff that's come from the president quests. Lots of arrows. because I flew over this. One there. I see it already. Alright. I'm just gonna keep following this perimeter. I 
Okay, I recognize where I am. Is there a cave there? I don't have a cave there. There should be a cave there. There was one in Breath of the Wild. There's also a well here. And smoke coming out of the well. Surprising. Huh? Huh? Ah, what are you, a customer? Oh, her. Oh. Welcome to Moses Hideaway Restaurant, home of the ultimate dish. Truth is, we haven't officially opened. You must have a good nose. I mean, you just couldn't stay away from these tempting aromas, right? It was the smoke signal. Oh. oh, there's something wrong with your nose. There's no smoke signal. I'm just cooking, obviously. For I, Moses, spend all my time trying to achieve culinary excellence. And after a mountain of failed dishes, I mastered the ultimate oh. dish. I'll let you in on my ultimate technique. <clears throat> take a failed dish, pound it into shape, cook it again, and take it to the next level. I'm sorry, I got a little carried away. So, are you ready to turn your failed food into the ultimate oh. dish? If you give me failed dishes, I can work my magic. Failed dishes? Mm. Yeah. Haven't you tried throwing things that aren't food into your cook pot? When you do, you'll often end up with a failed dish. They can fail in different ways. There's dubious food, rock hard food. Mm. Dubious, they say. Rock hard, they call it. Psh. Just because you throw in some ore or monster bits. What terrible things to say, don't you think? Haven't they ever heard the saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained? Ugh, oh. uh, sorry. I was just thinking about my life before becoming a master chef. Bring me your failed dishes when you're ready to turn them into something amazing. Okay, this is just a meme, but I... I want to find out. I'm just gonna cook... a piece of flint. Alright. Ah. Oh. All right, let me see this culinary disaster. <laughs> How? Can you even call this food? There are rocks softer than this. I might have chipped a tooth just looking at it. I'm sorry about that. This is just such a spectacular canvas that I couldn't help myself. Anyhow, it's dangerous to leave this be. I'll cook it, pound it, and make it ultimate. First time, call it... Okay. Thanks for your business. Now let's get to work. Is this for real or is this a joke? Crank up the heat, chop it, pound it, steam it, throw it in a high roll bass, boil it, cook it, and add that raw meat. Now a pinch of secret extract and done. Prepare to be amazed. I call bullshit. Yes, that was tough. And now the ultimate dish. Behold. Monster stew. Oh. Ah. Oh. Eat up before it gets cold. No shit, it actually came out of something. Just the quest line in Breath of the Wild was obviously a joke. I just thought it was going to be the same thing. I expected this one to be a cave. Byro to Lanero Wetlands. Alright.
this is uh yeah dun 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 Where is it? Yeah. Oops. Okay. Well, that's that was that one. Just got destroyed pretty quickly. I mean, when you have a hammer, it just rips through it. Alright, where's frog? I didn't find that cave sooner. This is just gonna lead outside Kakarika Village. Frog, where is Frog? I don't see Frog anywhere. Already exit, I gotta go back. <laughs> what? I was gonna say, what is the point of that? <laughs> Having a second look at each of these. I didn't want to rush it, but it's just there's so many of these things. That keep going up now. I didn't want to, didn't want to get on. Huck. 
I really miss it here. Why well, wasn't arrow shot? I saw chill and fire an hour, why? Oh my god, there it is. Not even in this, its own chamber. Okay. I sound tired, but probably because it's midnight and I've had a long day. Also, just, yeah, slippery wall. <laughs> that's, that's just... I'm so sick of slipping as a mechanic in this game. Just because it was a thing in Breath of the Wild, and I was kind of counting on it to be removed. Like, surely they would acknowledge how many people hated this. And to some degree, they, they did touch on it, but it's just like, it's such a half measure. No, no, you the players are wrong. See, what you needed was this armor set that you should just equip whenever you don't want to fall. adds to the sense of fantasy. <laughs> Assault, really? Got it. Not sure where this is going to make me appear. Where is here? Oh, I'm <laughs> pretty much right. I don't know what I was expecting. I'll just go to Kakariko. Oh, 
Oh, it's the president. I swear I'm, I, I might just unsummon her. She's the one that's getting in the way the most. And I don't think she serves as practical of use as the other sages. She's just too massive. I had fun with the section, you know, her boss fight and that section. It was fun. But, you know, like, I kind of right away was like, I, I don't see myself, like, using this. How's the president standing? She's okay in the underground to walk on the gloom. Well, he... The thing about the underground is I'm not going down there again. <laughs> I had my fill with those, I don't know, five and a half hours where I was down there just clearing the whole thing. To be, I think I do have to go back, though, because there's more battery to get, and, uh... I mean, I think there's still treasure down there. Oh, wait, I was about to shoot the eye. It's just on top of the eye. Must have been a very early one because I, I guess I just didn't realize. Okay, I'm gonna kind of. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go further down that hill because that's central Hyrule. Ah, uh, but it is on. No, it's on low ground. It's okay. I changed my mind about it. I kind of figured this big tree would have one. Me. I should have enough for the first upgrade of that. That's uh <laughs> Alright, there we go. Quick fight's a good fight. Uh I don't think I got an apple. I mean, not an apple, guts. That did not look like Hinox guts. I think I got a pumpkin instead. Alright, well I know where there's definitely one. There's bridge here, because I haven't gone across it. That's a Korok down there, I see it. Oh. Yeah. Thought it was done for a sec, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm not- I swear I'm not imagining it, but like in this in Breath of the Wild, I'd be able to walk up easily. This game, I don't know what they've done to it, but you just seem to slip where you just would not in Breath of the Wild. But then in some circumstances it works better. That's too much of a stream. I might have to go in the cave and just shoot my way back up. Wait, there's a ledge over there. Oh, you know what? I can fly this out. This... I keep slipping. City sake, what is this ledge? It's a Korok. It's okay, should be able to get it back. Straight for that bridge. Hundred percent, there's one there. I already see it. Wait, really? I don't know if I can fly this out. Stone. It's gotta be a Korok, right? Yeah. Okay, um. 
It seems fine. But I noticed that there's a tree there. I'm gonna go check over there real quick. This group of trees, just breath of the wild knowledge. Okay. Good stuff. Ah, oh, shit, did it, did it vanish? I'm going to turn around and explore the high ground. Where? Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, I was, but then this happened. Yeah, I haven't explored these. All right. This makes it so much easier because I just fly between them. If there's anything, I should be able to spot it. Tell. I saw a shadow. I saw a shadow, but I couldn't tell what it was. Chicken hideout. Hopefully the bike is still out there. <laughs> I wonder if this is a quest or something. It is cool. Alright, 
getting a core kill. How did you get up here? I suppose this is the signal for it. Shit, it's scared. There we go. That is uh, quite the distance. I just question how this little car got even this high. Ah, ah, ah. This high up in the first place. That is quite the distance to have traveled. Oh my god, I can't control it. It just spun out of control. Oh, yeah, it wasn't placed right. That should be better. Doing it doesn't. It's like this just force of pushing me to the right. And down, it's it's insane how much they weigh. I think I've gone pop. Oh my god. Get him off again. Alright, where, where? Where's your friend? Yeah. Over there. How did I go that far? Flying with this little thing. Okay, straight line. Come on. Come on. Okay, I got better control of it this time. Very time consuming. Okay, I'm just gonna check these hills over here.
Korok. That's yeah. Nice, good landing. Really? Huh? Okay, it was just a little bit temperamental. I think that's it. That's, I just wanted to check these hills because they're just kind of a pain. That should be one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's speeding up, but it's just... It depends on the region. Some of them have a lot, and others... You go a good five minutes without finding anything. Waterfall, anything here? Whoops. Ah, shit. Hang on, I'll run a ride to the top of the waterfall. We'll probably do that as a Zora. Hang on. Uh, where is it? Okay. Oh. There's also this as well, finding new caves. Okay. Swap to stealth. Is frog. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to use the ceiling power. How do you say frog in Spanish? Sapo. No, it's sup ball with a P. S-A-P-O. Sapple. No L, just S-A-P-O. But maybe, I don't know, the way I'm pronouncing it. Sapo. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I was half expecting one there. Yeah, this area was completely blocked off, so I'm not surprised there's one here.
to sure like their hot air balloons, huh? Okay, well, I've arrived at Kakariko Village. I'm gonna leave it here for tonight. Chat, that's a good place to stop the search for now. It's like a- it's a town. I can create a speed buff if I want to. And then I got a... Yeah, there's still this large gap here. But then otherwise, it's like... Central Hyrule, then here. I'd say it about a third of the way through the, the search-ish. I mean, yeah. I think I'm, I'm like, at six... I don't know. I'd have to make it load. Let me find out. Just for shits and giggles. I wanna know. I'll just teleport to the shrine. Trigger a loading screen. How many have I got? Yeah, that's going to do it for me. I'm, I'm a bit tired. It's also, you know, almost one in the morning, so understandable. I'm going to go head off for the rest of the evening. So, yeah, 6.50. I wanted to say 6.50, but I wasn't sure. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, especially if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking. Hope the Korok hunt has been interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll get there. Hopefully... If I can get anywhere between 50 to 100 each time, that shouldn't take too long, but we'll see. Over the weekend, I'll try and make more of an effort. Anyway, thank you for clicking. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Consider clicking further buttons for algorithm purposes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.